33, how did your video get in? How did a clip of your voice and your video end up in my blooper video? That's not an answer. No. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, 33, I gotta go. I gotta record the rest of this blooper video because our fans are here. Next time, ask me before you include one of your shots of, of your videos, okay? Thanks, 33. I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, Elsie Rosie here and welcome back to the O's ship show. Sorry for that, but guys, the extra clip in the front was actually filmed by 33, who is another character that you will all meet soon. She's a little erratic and a little hectic and doesn't know how to edit videos. <laughs> But she thought it'd be fun to include a little video of her being a bit of a spaz over the fact that I have a red phone. <laughs> She's a little... Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll see 33 later. Don't worry. But yeah, let's get into the bloopers of the Carrots with Nutella final chapter. So guys, also, please remain to the end of the video to hear some fun announcements. <laughs> okay? Let's dive right in. All right, guys, so this comic was honestly a lot of fun to go back and look through. It's a very sweet story. It's very just kind of like, like I love shenanigans with the main crew. I love it when Freddie and Bonnie kind of get called out in their shit. I'm like, hell yeah. Woo -woo. So Foxy and Chica do break. They don't intentionally do it, but they low-key break up Freddie and Bonnie's kiss for a little bit. And I'm like, <laughs> I really like seeing them because I really do ship Chica and Foxy. I just don't really, I when earlier I didn't draw them that much because I didn't know how to draw Chica's beak because I wanted her to have a beak, but if I didn't draw her with a beak, she looked weird. But if I drew her with a beak, she looked weird. She's still, like I, now I draw her with a beak and it's still not quite where I want it to be, but I'm like, you know, it's close enough. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> But I do really ship them, and I really do like them. So including them in this comic was like a really nice little thing for me to do. I really enjoyed that. But yeah, so this comic is just very sweet. I like how we see a bit more of the um, Bonnie and Clyde kind of relationship that Freddie and Bonnie have, where Freddie is the one who will go along with whatever Bonnie schemes. So Bonnie is the one who recommends that they they cause a little mischief with Chica and Foxy, and we're all like, oh no, scandal. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Foxy and Chica get up to in the cave. Maybe they just play Monopoly or, well, whatever they do behind Pirate's Cove. I don't know. I don't know. I know nothing about that. Oh, there's a little baby squirrel sleeping outside my window. That's really cute. Oh, okay. Back to y'all. <laughs> but yeah, guys, basically everything with this comic is just very cute. It's very silly. There's a lot of weird lines, like, phony. <laughs> There's also just, I gotta admit, I love the whole ending section where, like, Freddie and Bo where Bonnie thinks that Freddie's about to kiss him and instead he's like, you ate the carrot when I was talking to Foxy, didn't you? And we're all like, oh, no! <laughs> I loved that whole ending. I thought it was so much fun to draw because, like, Freddie and Bonnie are just being cute goofballs and it's just it's just so cute okay i just thought it was really fun plus i remember i got called out for this and i remember just being like <laughs> because if you when you guys look at the comic if you guys can see when they're in the snuggling pictures there's no carrot originally people commented they're like where'd the carrot go where'd the carrot go and i'm like i didn't respond i was just like just wait guys just wait and then when they when then when freddie was like you ate the carrot everyone was like oh <laughs> i got so many cool comments about that that was awesome i really enjoyed it but yeah it was just like this comic is just really sweet there are a couple of cringy lines like i said earlier there's some weird shots where like you guys can see in the picture where it looks like foxy has like a shadow because i didn't properly erase the other version of it so I think that's why so many people like doing backgrounds, because when you have a background, you can cover up the mistakes. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I just, this blooper video might be a little shorter, I'm not quite sure, but like, I just really, I really like it. Like, it's just very simple, it's very cute and sweet. Freddie and Bonnie are just pure adorableness. I really think that they're very sweet together, I enjoy it, and looking through this comic actually has gotten me a couple of ideas for other things in the future. 
Especially the line that um, says, dating the main mascot of a franchise wasn't easy when everyone wanted Freddy's attention. So getting just this one-on-one -on -one time was precious. Let's see what that means in later comics. But yeah, guys, looking through this comic, I don't have that many bad things to say. I do have to say, editing this comic, because I was on vacation when I was editing this video, there, um, when I originally wrote the script, I forgot two panels, like I thought I included them, I didn't. So then I went back when I was recording, and I didn't, I didn't know they were there, and then I was editing the video, and I was like, ah, no! So if the video, if the audio recordings sounds slightly different from each other, that's why, because I took them at two different times. <laughs> Because I realized I forgot a panel, and I'm like, nope, I am too much of a perfectionist. I'm including all of these. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, um, I just really like this comic. Like, let's see if you taste like carrots. I'm like, oh my goodness. This... I just really think this comic is really cute. I think it's really fun, and I just, I just really like it. Yeah. It's just a really sweet and funny comic. I'm like, this one's just cute, sweet. I enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. And I just really like it. So, you know, I'm content. Like, this comic is just really cute and really sweet. And, like, I don't have that many negative things to say about it. I just think it's really cute and really sweet. And I'm very excited to say that this is our first comic multiple parts that's now closed. This comic is now complete. So guys, at the end of this comic, Freddie and Bonnie are snuggling, they're doing whatever couples do when they find out that they give each other their carrots. <laughs> and so, this current comic is now complete, and it was completed on, let me just check, 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 real fast, on March 8th, 2015. It was done in two weeks and a day. How the flippity frack did I do that? I have no freaking idea how I did that, because like... Oh my lordy. But yeah, this comic is just very sweet. I'm very happy that we did it. And now that this comic was a huge um, first step for me, because essentially I learned that, because I wasn't sure if people wanted longer comics. I thought people just wanted more, like more content, more content, more content. I didn't know they wanted longer comics. So this was the first comic where I like dipped my toes in to see if people really wanted to see longer comics. And they did. And it worked out really well. And so then the comics just got longer and longer and longer after that. Like, seriously, this got longer and longer. Which I'm not against. I'm like, honestly, it's pretty cool. I really enjoyed it. And I'm like, I'm not against it. This is pretty cool. <laughs> and I gotta admit, I just, I love, um, I know I say I hate Purple Guy. And I usually, I do. But now with the new Nightmare comic and exploring more about Purple's backstory, I gotta admit, I still really like him. Because there's a lot to Purple that we have yet to uncover. Like, in the comic, we learn that he has a little sister. We learn that he has gone through a lot of things. And there's just a lot of things going on. But guys, when I say all this, this is my version of Purple. So this is not, like, what we see in the video game. This is more like how I view him. The purple in the video games, I don't, as far as I know, we don't have that much backstory with him besides him being like in the, in the Afton family and owns a robotics thing. I do base a lot of my comics around, uh, I lace all my comics on the FNAF world, but no, no, no denying that. But I do, a lot of the story ideas come from my own head. So not, it's not going to follow the FNAF storyline to a T and that's completely okay. All right. But guys, now let us get into the announcements. I will see you all in a little bit. Bye! Hey everybody, Elsie Rosie here, and, I've, and if you guys have watched through that video, thank you so much. And I wanted to say that I actually made the announcement video after I made this, so my full intention was to include the announcement video after this, after this little video, but then I realized how long the announcement video was, and I'm like, nah, nah, we'll keep them separate. So yeah, if you guys want to find out about the announcements, it's about some fun stuff with the show and figuring out some new fun things with the bloopers. So go check out that video. Sorry guys for all the teasing and the bloopers, but I will see you all next time on the O-Ship Show. Bye!